Hey guys, what's up? Old Hell Rottle here. First thing you want to do when you spawn your ass in uh, Red Dead Online is take your ass over here to Emerald Station. See where I'm at? I'm wedged between a train station and a telephone pole. You want to have your ass sitting just like me? This is for the PS4, MTU settings, 800, 600, 600, 800. Then you want to go to the Bayou, then to the Heartlands. I already have my camp set. Got to do it just like I do. Or you can might be a little bit di different depending on your internet. You'll see where it spawns your camp. This is right down where a treasure map is. You got a treasure hunter up here on the top by the end. And you got a one over here on the tree. Not really worried about them right now. Now, I spawned in. You got to have the moonshiner roll. No ifs, ands, or buts. Moonshiner roll. And if it didn't spawn in, go to Crips or your wardrobe. Stand there for a minute or two. Sometimes it's less. This is great little XP method. Been doing it for a while. Seen a video on it last night. T T N T something. I'll post the link down there. I was going to wait a while till after next week to put it out. Because I wanted to put it out this week. But they put a big bonus on us. But either way... Congrats to him. Now you want to make sure you got your settings. Go to control to free aid. So like I said, this is really not major OP, but it's a good method. And you're going to go ahead and shoot these moonshiners. You're going to get 300 XP no matter what. But when you're in free aim, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, about 45 XP per shot, 40 to 45 XP per shot. You're clearing almost 1,000 XP for 5 minutes. I'm doing them slow. I usually buzz through them. It's a really good method. Like I said, I'll post a link to the video. It's been around for a while, just nobody put it out. Like I said, I wasn't going to do it till next week. I was going to do it this week. But, no big deal. Good for you. I'm not claiming to be the founder, because there'll be 10,000 fuck sticks. I'm the founder, I'm the founder, I'm the founder, I'm the founder. Nobody cares. I'm a little rude this morning. Sorry. Now, next week, there'll be a ton of these out there, depending on the update of every spot, which is cool. Which is cool, but so far, the ones with these moonshine steels you gotta destroy... Is the best ones to do it at and where you can set your camp close to them at. You can actually do the ones, the revenues on the road, but it's a little inconsistent. As soon as you blow the steel up, you get a 300 XP pop up in the corner, hotkey disconnect. When you come back to this menu, I don't know why mine does that shit. Go to your camp. Because your camp's been there long enough, it will stay there. Sometimes it will spawn you in a different location. I'll show you. you got to watch till the end of the video for once. Instead of just skipping through it. Now, I'll spawn back in my camp. You see the moonshiner didn't spawn in. No big deal. No big deal. Like I said, go to your trader. If you ain't got the trader, go to your wardrobe. If that didn't spawn it in, fast travel to Armadildo. There's one there. If one's not there, fast travel. There's actually two in Armadildo. Fast travel to Tumbleweed. There's three of them. But they're not destroy the still. They're revenue agents in the road. Which ain't no big deal. You can do them come... Disconnect, come back to your camp here, and this will spawn in. Now, I got 19,793 XP. Make sure you're in free aim. And like I said, you can fill out your rewards with this, too. Because believe it or not, I've been playing since day one, and I have not filled up all my awards. 
Because I preach that all the time. Don't rush through it. Because when you rush through it, the game dies. You're bored. There's nothing to do. Nothing to keep you into the game. I haven't even finished out my bounty hunter. The prestigious bounty hunter. Naturalist. I haven't even finished it out. Gives me something to do, even though that, that one sucks. But, it gives me something to do. Now you're going to go through and take all these out. Like I said, 40 to 45 XP per one. Great little farming method. Glitch. Exploit. Whatever. It works. And again, on this wagon, there will always be shotgun shells and rifle shells and some liquor. So you're getting free ammo over there too. And it's cool to do if you got the trader roll to uh, while you're waiting on crypt. Now, as soon as the 300 XP pops up in the corner, hotkey disconnect. If you don't know what the hotkey is, go to my channel. Again, this is on PS4 in an MTU solo lobby, 600 to 800. If you do not have the gold or the money, go to my channel. Tons of gold glitches, tons of farming methods, tons of exploits, tons of glitches, tons of legit ways. Now it spawned back in. Now that time, it popped in. It will do that a lot. And what's good about your camp is right here. Damn, I didn't even look at the XP. My fault. You're clearing close to 1,000 XP each time. This is about like every 10 minutes. So it's not bad. But the good thing here is you're in your camp. When you run on a low on ammo, bam, there it is. Just pick it up. And you can craft and everything. And it'll still stay spawned in. And the other good thing about it is, you're right here in the heartlands. You can ride up right over the hill. Might be a legendary bison. Spawn in. And you can hotkey disconnect. I'll give it to Cribs. Hotkey disconnect. Come back in. This will spawn back in. Again, I missed that fucking XP. 2,000... 593 so this is not bad at all like I said you want to be in free aim be on your horse that'll give you an extra XP use special ammo give you extra XP even if it's express save them split rounds and these guys are tough man that's why I prefer to snipe them they have nerfed that shit And when that fog rolls in, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Like I said, you can fill your wards up with this. Shotgun, pistols, rifles, whatever. Looting enemies, whatever. You can get your wards so you get a little bit of gold out of it. Get on that wagon, there will always be shotgun shells and rifle shells. Make sure you loot everybody because they will give you collectibles. Twenty-one thousand eighty-three. Almost 1,000 each time. Eight, 800 to 1,000 XP per time. Damn. It's too early in the morning. Let's see if we can do it again. Usually I just shoot it with an explosive round, but don't like doing that. As soon as 300 XP pops up in the corner, hotkey disconnect. Come into this menu, go back to your camp. And this right here I'll show you because sometimes it will this happens with treasure maps. But worse. See it spawn me somewhere else. Just go to online. Go to your camp. And it should put you right back at where your camp was at. Great, great little XP medal. Like I said, I was the one to put it out last week. Well, dude, you beat me to it. You want to be the founder? You're the founder. I don't play that founder crap. It's all good. No disrespect to anybody. That founder shit? Nah. 
That's like taking a glitch and adding two steps to it, then calling it your glitch. It don't work that way. No disrespect to anybody. It don't work that way. It's still the same glitch. You just added a method. I learned that a long time ago. Trust me. All you're asking for is drama. No disrespect to anybody. Now, we're back here. See it spawned in. As I said, you can fill up your awards. Because, I, I, like I said, I haven't looked at Bounty Hunter. I've only got six. I mean, I really haven't been playing it. I've got tons of awards I haven't even did yet. That's free gold down the road. So when they do patch all these gold glitches and all that, I can still make a little gold on top of the dailies and missions and stuff. I have something to do in the game instead of burning everything up. But yeah, it's a great little method. Pretty extreme. But that's it. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Hit that notification bell and subscribe. I'm gone.